Page eight. It's just Marky laughing. Mark. It's what? Just laughing. It's just laughing. Oh, okay. Just do a laugh. <laughs> Eliza Jane Schneider is an actor with a remarkable ear for dialect and a near photographic memory. She's been using her talent to give voice to many of the female characters on South Park. And you must be Stan's sister! Oh, I think your brother's the greatest! My brother is a stupid turd. Cool? Yeah. Damn it, they've got an access code. I'll try to reroute the encryptions. It took me about six months to land eight of these roles. And um, now I am Wendy. Wendy? Hi, Stan. Shelly? I swear I'm gonna kill you, Stan. Stan's mother. You're stimulating the dog, Stanley. Cartman's mom. You want some more cheesy booze on? Huh? The mayor. All right, chef. I'll have my assistants hold up the flag, and you tell me exactly what you find racist about it. Prince of Victoria. Well, Timmy, I just don't know what to do with you. You're getting very poor marks in school, and the teachers are complaining that you aren't paying attention. Who else? Mrs. Crabtree. Kenny's mom. Kenny, you share that blanket with your brother. And, uh, you know, your occasional fat whore. Eliza Jane was also involved in Finding Nemo. It was a lot of fun. It was probably the most fun I've had working. What they do is they take, like, the best voiceover people from all around Los Angeles, and these are big names in voiceover that most people don't know who they are. But we all get together and it's like Danny Mann and Jess Harnell and Lorraine Newman. She was on Saturday Night Live a long time ago. She's still an amazing character actress. And um, we all get in this room and we all just improv, you know, and they take all this improvisation and then if any of it's any good, they animate to it. So you never even know what's going to end up in the movie. <laughs> Honey, you want to care? Eliza Jane lives a very nomadic life and moves several times a year. Currently, she lives on a ranch outside Los Angeles. This is one of my favorite items on the property. This is where old man Cheney built an outhouse with a window so he could see the sunset as he was taking a dump. And these are old little potties for little babies. <laughs> In the late 1990s, Eliza Jane dedicated herself to studying spoken English in America. She bought an old ambulance and set off across the country with a tape recorder, eventually recording over a thousand interviews and traveling 317,000 miles. I decided I wanted to study dialects and, um, and that was going to be my excuse for knocking on every door in the nation and getting people to open up and talk to me. And I did. I've collected dialects from all over the country and, and most of the English-speaking countries in the world now. The wisdom gained through Eliza's thousands of interviews has been turned into a celebrated one-woman show called Freedom of Speech. American dialects. What do you mean America doesn't have a culture? But no, wait, check it out. What if dialects, residual phonemes, are the only archaeological dig the kids of America have? Just place to place, I just kept finding out all these things that were putting a face to the statistics and getting this real strong sense of what, in a practical sense, the issues that America is facing are. I've been to Europe, I've been to Israel, I've been to Florida, I would not give up Lower East Side for anything. First grade, I don't like no boys, I was mad, I was stuck up, I stayed stuck. <laughs> I go, Erica, you know, why don't you order dessert when you get there with your meal? And then if you're still hungry, you can have dessert. You know, it's, it's really that hungry. I'm not paying for it, I guess. I have all these different instruments, and I use them. I'll use, like, a speculum on a man, but I'll use, like, really big one. You know, something like that. <laughs> there is no us in them. I am them. Through her study of dialects, Eliza Jane has developed a unique perspective on the many different ways English is spoken around the world. He gone, he be gone, and he been gone are three completely different meanings. You know, it's like a different verb conjugation. And um, people who aren't in the, in the scene, in the society, don't, don't get that. And, and the, the worst thing is when people, you know, say that, that it's stupid or, or it's, it's lesser. It's interesting, the exact same thing's going on in England right now, because the northern dialects are actually older, more Shakespearean, and more, more pure. And 
And the people who speak the Queen's English, you know, this sort of RP, received pronunciation, dropping their R's, it's only been around for the last couple hundred years. And these are people who concern themselves with pedigree, you know, and, and, and it cracks me up. It just cracks me up, like, because it's true all around the world. Like, there's always the people who speak with the working class dialect who don't, don't like the people who speak with the upper class dialects and, and there's prejudice on both sides.